get this going. I needed more turkey sausage patties. I got a few of these. They're the orange chicken. Orange chicken, Lynn. <laughs> I promise I'll stop doing that, but y'all got me. <sighs> it's a habit. Um, so I love the orange chicken from Cheesecake. Doesn't she sound like she's constantly exhausted? Like she's grasping for air after every sentence that she spits out of her mouth. I also want to know when she goes food shopping, because I know she orders Uber Eats like constantly. Which is a sin, by the way, for somebody of her size. It's it's pretty crazy that somebody could be 500 pounds and maintain that for years, by the way. Like, sometimes I like I don't weigh myself for a week and I'm like, oh shit, I just lost like 5 pounds or some shit. Because I don't know how to maintain that, you know? Because I always find myself forcing myself to eat to maintain the weight that I'm at. It's very hard for me to actually maintain weight. But I have to like force myself to do it. Amber, on the other hand, it seems like almost effortless for her to be 500 pounds at a continuous basis. Almost actually at 600 pounds if we're at... For a few months there if not for a year or two but the fact i think the re the real reason here is that not only does she eat out as consistently as consistently as consistently as she does but when she goes to the supermarket you can clearly see that she she just buys things that are easy quick no, no effort to put in actually making it right the other day i made some chicken dude uh yesterday i made some nachos right and I, I put in a whole bunch of effort. I had the turkey. I had the, I mean, sorry, I had the, the ground beef. I had garlic. I had onions, dude. I had serenos and I was, I was frying that all up together. And, and I had like the, the low calorie chips, dude. And, and the cheese, it was, it was like, it took me over an hour to put it all together. But the after effect is literally days worth of food that I have that I know that I can eat. And the, the, the beef alone is going to be lasting me literally days. Like I can literally put that on anything. But Amber puts no effort into actually finding out how to do recipes and, and, and conjuring, cooking, co co concocting these particular types of meals because she sees no, she sees nothing in it. And I really find that to be a thing when people get a lot of money, they cease to actually cook. Like they don't, they don't use their kitchen very often and instead they choose to order out. And that's really sad because how much money are you actually spending on somebody else cooking your food? It may be convenient. It may be quick. And it may taste better to a certain degree, but I feel like, really feel like learning how to cook is a skill that is going to benefit you for your entire life, regardless, like money comes and goes. So you having the time and the, and the skill, the aptitude to sit there at a stovetop cooking for an hour and then seeing the, the result of what you did and having that last you as opposed to opening up your phone, clicking on a few buttons and then having a guy deliver it to your house. That you're not always going to have that ability. I mean, maybe you will, but I really feel like it's probably more beneficial to even to, to, to know how to cook to a certain degree. Factory, but also love it. Lean cuisine form. Oh yeah, really by good. the way, just because they say lean cuisine doesn't mean that it's really actually lean at all. I know that they are slightly lower calorie, but there's really like no food in there to be honest. That you know how much more food I can get out of that for the same amount of calories, if not less, and, and still feel more satiated afterwards. Way, way, way more foods, bro. And that's what I that's what I always say, bro. Amber just goes the easy routes. And then I got a couple of the Lean Cuisine, Meatball, and Mashed Potatoes. Those are my two favorite Lean Cuisines, if you guys are curious. Where's the actual first food? First first, because I need to put this up. <laughs> oh. I got Halo Top. Oh. I got Peanut Butter Cup, which is my freaking favorite. And then I got Mint Chip. But why? I get it, right? I, when you're on a weight loss journey, you still want to enjoy the delicacies of life. You still want to get those you know, little bits of what you used to have in your diet because you don't want to fully commit or whatever it may be, right? But when it comes to Amber being the size that she is, buying ice cream is a death sentence. <laughs> that is a death sentence, dude. Why? Why do you need to get the ice cream, Amber? You know how long it's been since I've gotten ice cream? Like months, months and months and months and months because I don't feel the need to eat ice cream. Obviously, I'm different compared to Amber, obviously, but it's just crazy to me how somebody could be the size that she is and see no issue with buying ice cream. And <laughs> I, I just don't get it. So the thing is, I've never had mint chip Halo Top. So? I've tried a few other Halo Tops, didn't really care for them so much. Again, peanut butter cup, recommend that. Mint ice cream is my all-time favorite ice cream. So I'm hoping these 
Tastes good. Why is she always out of breath, dude? She really sounds like she just ran like a quarter mile and now she's just like exhausted after that, dude. And I I don't know why she has to feel the need to tell us like, oh, I really hope it tastes good. I really hope it's, it's, it's it, Amber, dude, listen, man, we all know, we all know the deal. We all know the deal. You are, you're going to body it regardless. You're going to be slamming that shit down your throat. It doesn't fucking matter what it is. You have been on a weight loss journey for 10 plus years and managed to gain weight. Food does not, you don't care about the taste. Let's be honest, you're, you're fucking buying lean cuisines, bro. You think those taste fucking good? Hell fucking no. That's a convenience item. That's what that is. That's a four minute in the microwave done. No time, no effort involved. Matter of fact, you don't even have to spend time preparing it. You literally take it out the oven frozen. Uh, my bad, you take it out the freezer frozen and put it in the microwave for three, four, five minutes. And then you're good. You just sit down for that five minutes and get up and get your food. You're not even putting effort in it at all. Anyway. Nervous, but we're gonna give it a go. I got two bags of the Simply Potatoes. It's shredded hash browns. Again, Amber, why don't you actually make the hash browns yourself? You know how easy it is to make hash browns? Very easy, matter of fact. And all you need is a shredder. You can get one at the dollar store or or, or a, uh, what are those places that you can buy like um, already used stuff? Like we call it the Moggies because we, those are Moggies that we used to go to when I was a kid. Um, a secondhand store, whatever they're called, right? Thrift, thrift stores. You can go to the thrift stores and buy, I have a, um, I have a, well, I used to go to thrift stores for quite a bit when I was a kid. I haven't gone to them anymore because like there's not really any around me where I live, but I have a few utensils that I've been using for literally years and I've had them um, since that point. They're still good. They're completely useful. I remember I got this, uh, this, what is that flipper? You know, you guys know what I'm talking about? That flippier, the spatula. I got one for a dollar and it's solid metal and it's lasted me years, dude. Same thing with pots and pans you can buy. Dude. People throw away shit or people donate shit to do these secondhand stores and you'd be surprised at the value you can get, man. It's craziness. But like I said, I haven't been there in years. I actually do need to be re-upping on a new pan. I'm thinking about a cast iron, but um, I haven't do I haven't done the investment, which is kind of crazy because I feel like I'm spending more money on things that are um, completely irrelevant rather than something that I need. So maybe I like what is that, like 20 bucks for a cast iron? Like and it'll last you for like literally decades. There's that one cowboy on YouTube that makes it with cast irons but anyway and well, yeah dude how, how easy is it to cook potatoes you know what i'm saying dude like i have potatoes like almost three or four times a week um fry them up in a pan right you guys know what i'm talking about bake them baked potatoes are some of my favorite fucking things to eat mashed potatoes bro potatoes are so incredibly versatile you could throw them in literally almost anything depending on what you're eating it's a, it's a really good carb choice um, sweet potatoes too, if you're really in depth on that calorie deficit, sweet potatoes are super amazing, dude. Cook them in the same way, same fashion. I love sweet potatoes, not as much as I love regular potatoes, but sweet potatoes are also amazing. Let's recommend those cereal, which is peanut butter puffins. I used to eat this all the time and it's been a hot minute. Man, cereal is a fucking, it, it, it's a mixed bag because regular cereal, because I have puffed rice, you know? And I snack on that sometimes because it's it's good. Puffed rice is like no calories at all. But cereal, I feel like if you're not buying the right kind and depending on how you're lubricating your cereal, it could really take up so many. Like some people don't even realize their body slamming like 500, 600 calories. And I know Amber, I've seen her videos before. She has body slammed like tricks or um, like what are the what are the fruit O's? I forgot what they're called. Fruity, whatever. She's body slammed those in these giant bowls. Like her, her serving sizes are at least triple what a normal person's serving size would be. And she she kills it with actual milk, like whole milk. This woman is sitting here body slamming six, seven, eight hundred calories of cereal, my dude. And I, I'm looking, I'm gazing upon this disgustingness, this blasphemous, this haram. And I'm thinking like, Dude, this is why you gain weight. This is this is the reason because you're sitting here. You think that cereal is low calorie when you're eating children's cereal, and they can even they they get away with it because they're running around all day. You know, kids are running around, they're jumping up and down, getting hurt and shit. Amber is not. Amber is sitting down ninety percent of the day, and that ten percent is her complaining that she's not sitting down. You get what I'm saying, dude? So, and then when she is standing up, she's exhausted. She's <laughs> Look at her, bro. She's <gasps> huffing and puffing. She can't. She she's exhausted from standing up. So uh, cereal, I feel like unless you're getting the right kind and you're, 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 you're properly lubricating it, it is oatmeal is a good alternative. Oatmeal you can actually get away with and it's like super low calorie and it will make you poop. Pooping is super important, by the way. 
I had a friend that literally didn't poop for like weeks and weeks and weeks. And this guy was like chronically constipated. Um, it's terrible. It's really fucking terrible. Uh, I recommend trying to poop at least once a day, if not like once or once every two days, because that really shows your body that you have like the, um, the healthiness. I don't know, dude, like really focus on getting some of that fiber in your diet, dude. Caffeine helps you poop. I know that when I drink my morning coffee, um, an hour later, I'm good to go, bro. I'm, I'm fucking, you know what I'm saying, dude, I'm in there. And recently my shit has been crazy because I've been eating this spicy food. Um, and it's, it's, it's been going insane for me, dude. But, uh, you, you know, if you're pooping once a day, you're doing good. If you're pooping once, once every two days, you're, you're doing, you're healthy, dude. I feel like, um, you're, you're well, you're well, uh, fibered up. You know, you got that good poop schedule going on anyway. Have, so I'm excited for this. Excited to try that. I got some meatless spicy patties by the, um, corn brand. But then I also got the buffalo chicken Dude, patties. where, where is the, where is the actual food though? Where, where is like chicken breast? Where's like steak? Where's like rice? Where <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, where are the potatoes? Where are ingredients to make actual food? Why is everything you eat in the frozen food section? All this shit that she buys, uh, like, it'd be like me going down the frozen food section, right? And I'm looking over and I'm like, God damn, bro. I'm surprised they even sell this shit. I'm never, I can't believe people even buy this. And then Amber is the one that buys this shit. These, these foods, I look at this and I like immediately crack my head to the left or the right to try to like avoid eye contact with these foods because I know how disgustingly unhealthy they are. Everything she's buying is so incredible. I mean, maybe not everything is unhealthy, but I'm saying like, why is everything in the frozen food section? Why can't you actually go up to the produce section or the, you know, vegetables and um, get, get some of that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like put stuff together, Amber. It's not that difficult. From Morningstar, because those are amazing. By Guardian, I got some meatless crispy tenders, which I'm excited. To Why does those. it matter though? Why does it matter if it's meatless? I don't understand. When when you are like, hear me out on this, right? I know that there, there are people that mid-max, right? Mid-max, if you don't know what that means, it's like when people, when you hit the pinnacle of like a, a game, for instance, right? And you want to like really get the most out of your experience, you'll go for that extra stat roll that will like increase you slightly like 1% and like an extra skill or whatever, 1% damage, 1% extra health. People will do that. They'll spend hundreds and hundreds of hours trying to get those max roll gears. Um, Amber, it, it, she's, she's on this weight loss journey, quote unquote. And she's sitting here mid-maxing on this shit, right? And I, I wouldn't even think this is mid-maxing, to be honest, because a lot of people that are really, like, actually serious about their health don't even do the shit she's doing right now. And she's buying, like, meatless patties when you weigh 500 pounds. I don't think it fucking matters, dude. You're literally already on death's door at the fucking, you know, the, the body mass that you've accumulated on your frame. I don't even think it matters that you're buying, like, low, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're buying these fucking meat alternatives when you're sitting here at, at these accelerated bodies. Like, does it actually fucking matter? <laughs> does it actually fucking matter? I don't think it thinks so. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to a friend of mine recently. And he was like, oh, you know, if I'm going to do this and that, I got to make sure I buy this and this and this. It's like, it's a problem of you think that it's the problem that you think that you're, you're going, you're looking at the end game when you haven't even started the race. You get what I'm saying, man? Uh, why are you investing in all this other, sh all this shit that you're going to use, but never potentially, potentially never when you haven't even started the race and Amber is sitting here at the start line. Matter of fact, she's not even at the start line. This woman is literally at the, she's at the bar and grill across the street, eating fucking ribs and getting Uber Eats to the restaurant while the race has already started like 10 minutes ago. Amber's not even at the fucking, she's not at the start line. She's talking, she's, she's looking at, she's looking at the end You're, on her phone. Like she's fucking live streaming the, the finish line. Why? It doesn't matter, Amber. You're 500 and some change, bro. You, you're not looking good. Is it, Why are you buying the meat alternatives? I got an Amy's Mexican casserole. I got Evol, which is love backwards. Where, where's it's the actual food? Noodles with vegetables in a creamy cashew sauce. 
Why does she have to tell us the brand? I don't understand. Why can't, why can't, like, we see the fucking, we see the logo, dude. I don't think it really matters. Like, she's recommending brands to us as if we're going to go to the frozen food section off of Amber's advice. Hey, guys, by the way, this particular brand is really good. I recommend it. Amber, you're 500 fucking pounds. I'm not taking anything you say. Act to heart, dude. I know you, I know you're doing bad, dude. So if you say this tastes good, I'm not even looking at that as an, a viable option anymore. Matter of fact, even if you... If me and you agree on something that tastes good, I'm probably going to take it back because I think that maybe I'm fucked up for thinking that tastes good after you said it tastes good. Two of these Lean Cuisine pepperoni pizzas. Mm. Delish. Moment. I got some bags of this already cooked elbow pasta. This... Why are... Dude, well, how long does it take to cook pasta? Like... For like five ten minutes at most depending on the heat set the heat setting it doesn't take long at all to make pasta and you, you can get it for extraordinarily cheap like you can get like boxes of pasta for like a dollar or less and that shit will last you literally a month like a box of pasta how often are you having fucking pasta like once a week twice a week dude even if you're doing it twice a week get two boxes you're good two bucks two boxes for two bucks i bet one i bet each one of these bags was like a dollar or more this woman is spending an atrocious amount of money on literally no food at all and she's massively obese because she's buying foods that she get, she can't. I guarantee you, if she was actually putting an effort to make food, coming up, creating the, the food choices and things like that, it would be a lot harder for you to be the size that she is because you're actually contributing more time and effort into the food choices that you put together. You, get them, you feel more rewarding afterward rather than just putting something in a microwave for 10 minutes, coming back and munching it down. Just make my life easier. Why do you, why? What do you mean make your life easier? Your your day consists of sitting on your butt 90% of the day, bro. What, why do you need to make it easier, bro? Make it a little bit more difficult, matter of fact. Go walk around a little bit, man. Spend some time cooking. Stand up for more than 30 seconds at a time. You don't you don't need to make it easier, Amber. Make it harder. Takes six Damn. seconds to make. Um I don't like cooking so much. You guys know that. Yeah, so well, that's maybe a problem. If I can, you know, make it easy on myself, then I'm going to do it. Because if I don't, then I'm going to get overwhelmed, not want to cook every single night, and then I'm going to turn to, like, fast food or something. Yeah, that's a fucking terrible lifestyle, dude. She's literally self-diagnosing the issue. She's telling us what she has a problem with, and she's just going to, like, I don't know, like, if she doesn't want to cook, she's just going to order fast food. Why is that even an option for you, Amber? You need to cut that shit out completely. Get Delete the apps. Delete the apps, dude. Get rid of the phone numbers, man. Why do you... She just makes it too easy for herself to, to back up on her plans, man. And we don't want to do that. We got... Okay, so this is, like, really weird. I don't even know. Thin Mints Chickpea Snacks. Why do you need that? I have no idea. I figured... I want to try it. Rice ramen noodle soup. Dude. You should see my mom's face. I mean, I don't know how it's rice. Oh, it's made with organic brown rice. That's healthy. Just because it's made with organic brown rice. By the way, brown rice is not even the healthier alternative compared to rice. White rice is the better alternative, I believe. Like, white rice is actually healthier. But... I guess, you know, anytime Amber sees something organic, I guess somehow she thinks that's fucking healthier. That's not how that works, by the way. I'd much rather be putting a, a fucking giant, you know what I'm talking about? These big giant fucking, I went to the grocery store, right? And I bought these organic bananas because they were on sale. And I, I, I bought them, brought them home. And I was disappointed at the girth and the length of these bananas. I body slammed the, like three bananas when I could have had just like the one regular, you know, I'm not bougie, dude. You know what I'm talking about, dude? I'll eat, I'll eat literally anything. If you want to throw something on a plate and call it food, I'll probably body slam that shit because I'm not picky. The way I grew up, like I was eating fucking terrible, disgusting foods uh, because nobody knew how to cook when I, when I was growing up, dude. Like I was eating like spaghetti and eggs and shit when I was fucking growing up, dude. Uh, I, I was eating fucking, uh, you know, bologna and cheese sandwiches, you know, hot pockets and shit like that because nobody knew how to fucking cook. And when, when, when a culmination did come together, most of the time it was burnt. You know, like pork chops, dude. I was eating like pork chops and like burnt to the fucking bone. I was probably eating most of the skillet, to be honest, because it was burnt so much onto the fucking skillet, dude. So uh, the way I grew up and the way I am now, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll just eat anything. I mean, regardless of whether it tastes good, because I know that if I need to eat it, I'm going to body. And that's the way I think most people should be looking at their food in the sense of what am I getting out of it? You know, 
obviously you want your food to taste good, um, which is important for the toleration of what you're going to be eating. But so many of the time I see people literally not acknowledging the real purpose of food, which is it's supposed to be fueling your body. It's not supposed to be something that's, um, you know, for your satisfaction, for your joy. It's not supposed to be for that. I mean, granted, if you can get that out of your food, that's great. But the main purpose should be I'm getting I'm getting fuel out of this. I'm getting protein. I'm getting carbs. I'm getting this and that, whatever. Because that is the main purpose. What you put into your body is what you're going to get out of your body. So if you're just eating permanently slop and your body slamming copious amounts of calories, dude, guess what? Your body's going to be slop. You're, you, you're living in a fucking slop body over here preaching the good word of my food tastes good. I don't give a fuck if your food tastes good. You know, I literally spent an entire year eating plain chicken breast, like not no seasoning on that shit at all. Uh, I was eating fucking beans and rice, no seasoning on that shit at all. And I was doing that shit daily and it didn't taste good. It did not taste good, but I was doing it because I knew I had to eat that shit. And here I was just shoveling ch like three chicken breasts in my fucking mouth per fucking serving, uh, per, per meal, because I'm not a bitch. I'm not a bitch, dude. I'm going to eat that shit because I know it's fucking good for me. I was going to the gym, curling fucking 20 pound dumbbells because my wrists are too small and I'm, 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 my wrists are bitch. I'm not the bitch. My wrists are bitch. And I'm doing fucking... You know, I'm curling weight, dude. I'm I'm lifting all these fucking big, big, big denominations of weight, trying to get stronger and 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 get be a better person and shit like that. And I see Amber talking about brown rice, organic brown rice is healthy, being fucking over 500 pounds. Like, I, what are you fucking talking about, Amber? What are you saying right now? Oh, and the flavor is masala curry. Today has been super exhausting. What is that? Um, we got two bite coconut macarons why love those i, I, I think i see what the problem is dude i think you need to reach out and stop buying the things that you enjoy so much because i really enjoy chocolate chip cookies i love brownies man i love fucking cornbread dude i love all these treats that i can walk by and look at and go oh man that looks good but I have the reasonability of walking by it. That's the key. Seeing it and continuing because I know I'm not buying this shit and having my, you know, 300 calories for a chocolate chip cookie. Fuck off me, dude. I'm not a fucking, I'm not doing that shit, dude. I, I, I know that's just going to be bad for me. So fuck that shit. I'm, I'm walking over and I'm probably going to go get something better. I'm going to get something probably, I'm going to go get some eggs for $2. By the way, I got, uh, eggs really here are really expensive, right? They had a sale the other day, dude, and I fucking killed this shit because I eat a lot of eggs. I eat, I eat eggs every single day, and there was a sale for a carton, yeah, for $2, and I was like, oh, shit, dude, that's fucking crazy, right? And now you, that might be expensive for you, but where I live, that shit was really cheap, so it was, you can only buy four maximum. Dude, I, I bought that shit three times, dude, all right? I went up there, three separate purchases, uh, and I bought fucking, how many eggs is that? Four, eight. I bought 12 eggs, for 12 cartons of eggs. Dude, that's going to last me at least a month and a half, bro. I'm fucking chilling now, dude. And I can do anything with that. It's French toast. I can do uh, omelets, dude. I can throw that into migas. Uh, I can throw that into everything, right? Because eggs are so incredibly versatile. And they're not even very calorie dense for what you're getting out of it. There's a ton of protein in it. Uh, but Amber, for some reason, I don't really ever see her eating eggs. I know people that were literally starving, like people that had no money, no job. They, they were struggling for fucking uh, months, right? Living on the edge of literally homelessness. And all they could eat was eggs for days at a time because they were so cheap and they were incredibly versatile. You could do anything with eggs. And uh, that, that just goes to show you that it, it, probably one of the best foods, I think personally, two best foods that you can get when you are poor is eggs, potatoes, and pasta. Like that shit is like, you're good. You're fucking good with that shit though. You're eating every day probably with those three foods, man. Even though eggs have gone up of recently, I believe they're going down. Um, you're good with those three foods, but I don't see ever, i would never see Amber eating eggs, dude. I think she may be allergic to them or something. Two of these Amy's Indian Samosa Wraps. These are one of my most Why do they look like that? Ever. She's bougie, They're dude. So delicious. Let me get the next bag. The next bag? Got some lightly salted tortilla chips. What, dude? How how small was that bag? Let me look at that one more time. Got some lightly salted tortilla Dude, that's so, these tortilla chips, lightly salted, doesn't fucking matter. You got them from Whole Foods. That's your issue, man. That's your fucking issue. You got nothing in this bag. This is like, 
this is like half of a traditional bag of Doritos or something like that. These tortillas, are, this is a sin I'm looking at right now. How much did you spend on this, first of all? This is, this is, why didn't you just get regular tortilla chips, like store brand? Shit, this is, all right. It's chips? Is that Becky Mom? Hope so, huh? So, can't lift it. I've got some tortellini. Okay. This is gonna go with the pesto. It's gonna be delish. Got a Diet Coke. Mm. Got Diet and W. Oh. Dude, what are these Becky. bags? Why do you go out to eat so... I, I go food shopping like once a month usually, but I'll have like maybe two or three in the middle of the month just for random shit that I forgot to get in, you know, that one big food shop. But it seems like Amber goes food shopping like at least three times a week, it looks like, dude. He got, see, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the whole Becky got this. I got this. I'm just going to show no, you. She's got a landline. You see that right there? She's got a landline right there. That's rare nowadays. I know if I ever buy a house, which probably will never fucking happen because the prices of houses are fucking crazy, but I would want one with a landline. I know that's a really weird request, though. Anyway. Dr. Pepper. Now listen. Let me well, explain. I'm weaning myself off of Dr. Pepper, and my doctor said that I could have three sugary drinks within. Dude, wow, man. I... I I, I know Becky is doing really good now. I, I seen recently that she had lost a lot of weight. And it, bro, the sometimes when you're in a relationship, you don't even realize that you're being strung along. You don't even realize because you're, you're in a relationship, right? You don't want to make that other person upset or maybe you just been together for long enough to where you just like, I don't know, it, it, you're just contempt almost, right? And it's really sad because I see that so often where people are just perpetually unhappy with the person that they're with, but they're just there because it's harder to break up than it would be to stay in the relationship, which is sad. But Becky made the right move, dude. And I'm looking at two of these people in the house right now. I'm surprised there's even oxygen within the house because they breathe so excessively with the amount of weight that's on their body that's just consecutively on their body for as amount of time that they have. It's insane to me because I know Becky gained a ton of weight, dude. Looking at the before and afters compared to when she started the relationship to where she ended the relationship, dude. She had gained at least 100 pounds, right? Like it is a massive change because... The issue is when you're in a house with somebody like Amber, dude, that's sitting there going day in, day out, I'm trying to do this weight loss journey, and then only manages to gain weight. It's got to be hard to be around that negativity constantly, dude. I feel like you got to be a very tolerant person to be around somebody like Amber, dude. But that's just me. A week. And we got a diet Sprite, as you can tell. Where's the water? I like my diet soda. I have about one a day. An ocean blue and lemonade, and... A southern peach lemonade. Got a bag of Amber, these individuals. Amber, what are you what are you doing, man? Why are you buying chips? It's not even diet chips, not baked chips, which let's be honest here, don't even fucking matter, let's be honest. If you're buying chips, you're buying chips. Why are you buying this shit? The snack pack? Is this just for you for one day? Is that what it is used for? It's too much it's too much opportunity for you, though. I think you need to stay away from aisles completely. The chip aisle, get away from it. That cannot be on your agenda. When you go to the supermarket, stay away from the chip aisle. Size chips because I do like to have a crunchy chip here and there, okay? Lettuce. Buy lettuce, dude. Lettuce is crunched to the extreme, dude. And what? how many How many calories is in a lettuce, dude? Like 100, maybe at that, maybe 60 in a whole lettuce, head of lettuce. Because most of what's in a lettuce is just fucking water anyway. Why don't you just put that on what you're eating? If you want a sandwich, I... <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it, dude. I like a little chip on the side of my sandwich, right? Um, because I feel like it complements the flavor. But if you want a good, if you're looking for a calorie deficit, dude, uh, yeah, just get a couple heads of lettuce. That shit will last you at least a month, uh, one or two. And then just put a few pieces on a fucking sandwich, dude. You're good, man. And these are already individualized, so I don't have to sit there, measure anything, count anything out. It's just here. Again, why you're making it you're making it easier for yourself when I feel like you need to be making it harder for yourself. You need to have that example set forward of I can do this, right? Even though it's difficult, it is what I have to do and I'm going to do it because I know I can. That's what it should be, Amber. Instead of I'm, I oh, this is easier for me. Now. I don't need to cook. I don't need to do this because it's all pre-made shit. And ready to be ate. Got some life cereal. This is like one of my most favorite cereals in the whole entire world. Giant Delish. Size. Got some four cheese parm oven baked uh, crisps. 
Some deli fresh rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. This is my most favorite lunch meat, pretty much. I'm compelled about this lunch meat, not because it's not good, but the amount of times that I've opened this lunch meat and have the bag already been pre-opened or something. Like, I don't know if the people are at the supermarket I go to are just like taking slices out, making sandwiches, and then putting it back on the shelf. But it's got to be at least um, out of 10 I've bought, in, like three of them have been opened. Then. And I don't know like if people at the factory are doing that shit or at the supermarket I'm going to, but I'm, I'm, I'm upset by that shit, dude, because I'm not going to eat open sandwich meat, dude, right? I'm like, I don't know if somebody's grubby hands was in there uh, body slamming that shit beforehand. I don't know, dude. The only lunch meat that I will actually have. Judge me if you want. <laughs> One of my most favorite things lately is this creamy four cheese rice aroni and just these little pre-packaged Damn. things. Amber. You measure nothing. You just cook them in the microwave. Super oh. easy. So got five Ooh, of those. Five. It's a good one, side to have. Sometimes like one it really meal. will just have it by itself. Got some mushroom no. flavor. Do not, do not have that by yourself. That is, that's got to be at the thumbnail right there, bro. That's crazy. But don't have it by itself. This is something, this is a side. I know that the rice aronis are pretty low calorie, to be honest, compared to like most sides. But why are you eating it by itself? Have something with it. Have a good lean protein source right next to it, dude. Don't have it by itself. That's just snacking. It's going to encourage more binging. And I also feel like, Amber should be really trying to stay away from eating as much as possible. Like, I think that she should probably reduce her amount of food that she, because the more times that you eat in a day is going to be, increase the amount of times that you're, 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 you're going to increase the, the likelihood of you binging. Amber has an issue with binging. If you're eating three times a day compared to what Amber does five, six, seven times a day, well, then you only have three times to binge three, you know, three excuses to binge rather than the six, seven, eight times of binges that you could have had because you ate five times in a day. You get me? So reducing the amount of times you eat in a day, I really feel like is really fucking important there because it is a, it, it really, it really seems like most people overeat so many times, so much, so much so that they don't even realize it because they're eating so frequently. And I know Amber eats a lot. I know she eats quite a few times in a day. And I think she lies to us the amount of times that she does eat in a day. It's a good side to have. Sometimes I literally will just have it by itself. Got some mushroom flavor rice and pasta blend in a savory mushroom flavored sauce. Never heard of it. My favorite ramen flavor is the chili flavor. It, none of this shit is is actual ingredients. It's literally pre-packaged, pre-made shit that's made at a factory. That it. This is man. It's just too easy for Amber to have an easy lifestyle where she's already living an easy life, dude. Ramen is so incredibly calorie dense don't get me wrong i've had my fair bit of ramen obviously but i can spare it dude you know me i can do that shit you know i already struggle eating as much as i do already but amber like it, it, dude you're you're 500 dude you're, you're big dude you're big so you eating this shit is is de detrimental we got two of those got some water flavorings we have That's good. lemonberry squeeze hawaiian punch oh. We have Kool-Aid liquid grape, okay. Kool-Aid liquid cherry. My favorite Takis. Oh. I just recently tried all the flavor of Takis. And this one is my favorite, the crunchy fajitas. Why? Progresso soups, savory beef, barley vegetable. Man, it, it, I just can't believe the amount of, the amount of non-food that she's buying. <laughs> the amount of like just snack foods and the amount of like, I don't need to do anything foods. It's excessive, though, because she's already doing nothing to order out to begin with. And then she's getting rewarded from that because she's fucking monetizing it on YouTube. And then here, she's just buying foods that are perpetually just easy to cook that are just bad for you, dude. Uh, I know that she complains quite a bit a lot of the time about salt, you know? And then I'm looking at most of the shit that she's eating is just all fucking salt. And don't get me wrong. I think salt, like, really important. A lot of people slack off. It, I, like personally speaking, I, I know so many people that don't even eat salt, and I think that's actually really important. But Amber is probably body slamming like at least three or four times what she needs. To, I mean, one of those fucking TV dinners that she ate, but one of the TV dinners that she had put up before those lean cuisines, bro. You're looking at eighty percent of your fucking sodium in one day in one of those things, though, easily too. And she's eating chips. She's eating fucking 
ramen, dude. She's seasoning up her foods with all that other salt, dude. This woman has to be eating, gotta be, at least like triple or like eight, you know, four times in a day the amount of sodium that she's, she's supposed to be sucking down. Becky picks all these out for me. I just said, get me some, let's see. Just vegetable, loaded potato with bacon. It's all salt, dude. My hair is crazy, I'm sorry. Chicken, rice, and vegetables. I think it's so weird that she says, I'm sorry that my hair is a mess when I'm looking at a whole bunch of other things that are, that are a mess and somehow the hair is the biggest issue. Uh, where are the priorities at? You get me, dude? Where, where's the priorities? It's like a guy that's telling me that he's okay with eating a woman's ass but not okay with licking, you know, uh, fucking sucking up breast milk. Like, where are the priorities, dude? And the last one is creamy potato with bacon and cheese. At the end of the night, I like to have some chocolate. Oh! So <gasps> oh! I eat a few of these at once. Damn! Like, these are the snack size. So one of Yeah, so one of those, I think it's like the serving size is like 100, like one per each, right? So it's like 100 calories per. Uh, 100 grand, six in each one. How many did she buy right there? Let me look back real quick. At the end of the night, Dude. I like to have some chocolate. Damn, all right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at five? Did she say five? So I eat a few of these. Wait, hold up. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them here. Six of them. She eats a few of them a night. I don't know if she means by what serving size she's talking about. A few of these like as in the package or like what's in the package. Either way, not good for you. Amber should not be snacking as much as she does. She shouldn't be snacking at all. To be honest, snacking needs to be completely annihilated from her diet. But and if you do snack, it should be at the end of the meal. Like you eat a big, well, I don't even think for Amber personally, I think that she should probably just eliminate it completely. But it's probably going to be very difficult for her when she's conditioned herself for her entire fucking life to be body slammed in this, these extreme amounts of calories. But anyway, guys, uh, we're going to end the video here. We'll do a part two to this. Um, I don't know when, probably like next week, probably, or I don't know if, if people want it uh, sooner that we can do it sooner. But either way, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing of the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, and I appreciate you tremendously, by the way. And I've been looking at you recently and I've been noticing the extreme, the extreme weight loss of, of, of I've been noticing the amount of definition upon your face, by the way, the amount of jawline that you have now. I mean, you're not like Jay Leno. You know what I'm saying? You know, like Jay Leno or like uh, who, like who's another prominent man with a very defined jawline? Like Julia Roberts. You're not like Julia Roberts, but you do have a very defined, very, very nice chiseled jawline. And I've been looking at it and I've been thinking about how how beautiful it is, how elegant, how sharp, how how accentuated the jawline has become because me personally, I love I love a good jawline. I like seeing the definition. I like really seeing the humanness of a person. Um, and and the jawline I really feel like is one of the main ways you can actually see people's defining features. Not everybody has the ability to have a jawline. And I remember one time when I was like younger and I was telling my friend, I was like, dude, a jawline is like one of the best things you can have when it comes to being a man and being sexually attracted, uh, sexually having a woman be sexually attracted to you. And he made fun of me. And then now he's going like, bro, how can I make my jawline even more defined? How can I have that nice chiseled, you know, Brad Pitt, you know, cutting cans with my chin type of jawline. And I've, I've told him, lose some fucking weight. You're fat, dude. You're massive, man. And I tell him all the time, dude, you can't be at this. You, you're you fat, man. You know what I'm saying, dude? You're not going to be able to get any type of girl. You might, you might be able to get girls because I feel like girls are a little bit more excusable when it comes to uh, uh weight, weight, when it comes to men, well, a lot of things, to be honest, man. But uh, you have to have a lot of other shit going for you if you if you want to just you know you you're gonna come into a relationship bubble belly and you 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 uh you're you know you, you don't have anything else going for you dude you need a lot of other but you have a lot going for you you personally watching the video right now uh yeah so the word of the day I know we just skipped the word of the day but no we didn't skip the word of the day because we are going to say the word right now so if you watch the video in its entirety and or you uh, are here uh, just skipping ahead. I want you to type down in the comment section, toy, T-O-Y. I know that there are a few people out there nowadays that have a whole bunch of toys, like adult toys. And I remember talking to this girl and she told me that she had like, she was like, oh, you know, I have a few toys because I asked her, right? I I've never met a woman that didn't have a vibrator, to be honest. Like, it it's crazy because I really think that vibrators in the current market are really destroying sex because uh, my penis doesn't vibrate. You know what I'm saying? I don't have that vibration function on my shit. And um, 
I really feel like, cause I've met so many women that have had vibrators that completely ruin sex. They just tell me like, oh yeah, I just stay with my vibrator. Like I keep it in my purse 24 seven. It's like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? And then it takes like eight hours to come. And then I'm just sitting there like, I don't got time. You know, I'm not, I'm not here for eight hours to maybe look at you, do this shit. Like, I, am I even here for any reason anymore? Like you have literally conditioned yourself to use this. You know what I'm saying? This woman literally was telling me that she, when she has sex, she needs to use a vibrator. Otherwise she can't even like feel satisfaction anymore. And I'm just thinking, I don't have that power. I don't have that ability. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to like stick my cock in an electrical outlet and just become like a superhero, like static shock or something to try to um jolt, jolt you. You know, I'm just, it's not worth it, dude. I can't do that. You have um d it's like a guy that perpetually beats off right and now he can't nut anymore because he 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 only knows and it's kind of gay in a way because now you have conditioned yourself to feel the sensation of your own hand which is a man's hand by the way on your which is it's not gay but it's kind of gay let's be honest here dude um now a woman's touch can't even satisfy you anymore because you've conditioned yourself to feel the love of another of your own hand which is a man's hand but the point I'm making is don't desensitize yourself. Don't desensitize yourself. Even though you may feel like a vibrator is like good in the moment, dude, um, it's going to probably make you uh, like not feel sexual satisfaction, gratitude from a guy that is really trying to go all the way in the same sense. Don't be beating off like craziness, dude, because I know a lot of guys focus on the tip a little bit too much, dude. And that's where if you didn't know, that's where the sensation mostly comes from. The dude, I mean, the shaft is all right. You do get some sensation there, but it's mostly all the tip, dude. It's like the clitoris for the women, dude. It's like right there at the top. That's where the most of it is. I would say 90, 10 split, but stop choking that shit. You know, stop squeezing that shit at the top, dude. You are really desensitizing yourself, man. Um, don't go so fast. Focus more on the shaft if you're beating off and you know, stop watching porn as much as well, dude, because not all women want to be beat up. You know, you're talking about, you're talking about, uh, not all women want to have that really rough shit going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of women that want to have that rough shit go on, but, uh, you know, not every woman wants to be choked and fucking, you know, pounded, dude. Sometimes it's all about slow, steady, uh, take our time looking into the eyes or whatever, make some noises as well, dude. I know a lot of guys are out here perpetually not making noises, literally just sitting there. Can you imagine how fucking cringy, how fucking crazy that would be if you're sitting, you're having sex with somebody and they're just gazing into your eyes, like staring at you soul on soul, not making a single fucking noise. That's gotta be uncomfortable, dude. Um, or the people, when you kiss, you don't close your eyes. What the fuck? And then you open your eyes and they're just like fucking wide eyed looking at you, bro. What the fuck? I would be discouraged by that. I would back up like, what the fuck? You know, uh, but anyway, we're going to end the video here, guys. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram. I barely upload on it. But if you want to follow me, I'll follow you back. You can also DM me there. Uh, we can have a conversation about things that you want to discuss, regardless of what it is. You want to talk about like Vaseline or uh, BB guns, or you want to talk about like, I don't know why gasoline is so fucking expensive. Or if you want to talk about lightsabers, I'm cool to talk about literally almost anything, to be honest, dude. I'm like a really open book, unless you want to talk about my butt. I'm not really into that stuff, but we can talk about like almost anything. Anyway, um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.